In the context of WebRTC and Voice over IP, we need to understand bitrate. Bitrate, in a way, is how much we're sending and receiving over the network. Usually, we look at this and split that between audio and video. In the graph here, what you see is the incoming outgoing video bitrate of a session that we're having. So what exactly is bitrate? In a way, this is how much we can or we are investing out of the available bandwidth for actual media. So bandwidth means what we have available or what we estimate that we have available on the network. And out of that, we're going to take part of that available bandwidth and invest it in bitrate for our audio and video codecs. The higher the number that we have there, the better the media quality that we can expect. This is not always the case, but this is a rule of thumb. Also, bitrate changes dynamically in the session. So we can't decide, for example, that we're going to do video 2 megabits per second and forget about that, because it can change dynamically based on the available bandwidth in our network. If the bandwidth gets lowered, then we need to also reduce our bitrate. Why does that bitrate changes in a session? There are many reasons for that, and it usually stems from the bandwidth available. Congestion on network routes can increase or reduce bitrates. Congestion will reduce it. When congestion is not there, we can increase bitrates. We have other processes or machines that use the same local network resources. Okay, again, someone watching Netflix or YouTube or using Google Drive or whatever network resources that are needed. It might be the distance from the Wi-Fi access point or a cellular tower that affects our bitrate. It might be network policies. It can be faulty cables, and it can also be the available CPU on the machine that we're using. The lower the CPU, the less bitrate we can send, because sending higher bitrates means encoding more, which means requiring more CPU and other resources from our machine. Okay, there's also the encoder and content behavior. If what we're trying to send is a black screen, we don't need a lot of bitrate to be able to send that over to the other network. The more dynamic the scene or the audio that we're trying to send, the higher the bitrate that we will need in order to support such a media. To learn more about WebRTC, you can check out webrtcglossary.com and webrtccourse.com where you'll find my training courses for WebRTC. Thank you.